Um, so how many of you, by raising your hand, like to celebrate? How many of you like to have a party? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think so. A lot of us do, right? Yes. So, um, so did you know that in the Bible that God told people to celebrate a lot? Yeah. There's like seven different activities, several different fest festivals that happened throughout the year where everybody remembered to celebrate and thank God for, for, what, they, for what he's done for them. And, um, and then in the New Testament, Jesus talks about how there is celebration in heaven anytime that someone becomes a new friend to Jesus. Whenever we ask Jesus to be our forever friend and to be um, and to come into our hearts, he they celebrate. God celebrates. The angels in heaven celebrate, and it's really really cool. And in um, in the book of Psalms. It tells us here, there's so many different verses in Psalms that talk about rejoicing and celebrating. And um, I feel like you can turn to just about any page in that book and find some sort of rejoicing going on. So, um, for instance, in Psalm 118, verse 24, it says, This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. So how many days has God made? Do you all know how many days he's made? How many days does he make in a year? What do you think? How many days does God make? A lot, right, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> that about covers it. So, how many days are in a year? 365, right? There's 365 days in a year. God creates every single one of those days. And so, that tells me, this specific verse, it says, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So, every single day, we need to rejoice and be glad every single day because that's the day that the Lord has made. And he's done so much for us. And so, um, so this coming week, this week, starting tomorrow, we are going to celebrate. We're going to have so much fun. So tomorrow, does anybody know what starts tomorrow morning? What do you think, Mila? VBS, that's right. Vacation Bible School starts tomorrow morning. And th that whole week we are talking about celebrating and how we can have joy in the Lord and we can rejoice with him. And so if you like to have a good time, like I like to have a good time and God likes to have a good time, I hope to see you there. All right, we are going to celebrate. Okay. All right. Let us bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you that we can celebrate and rejoice about your goodness. You are so good to us. Help us to remember that we can celebrate and rejoice every single day, no matter what's going on. And we pray that, that others can see that joy inside of us that can only come from you. In your name we pray. Amen.